Today I'm sharing how to whitewash wood with paint. To demo this technique, I'm using it on this dated curb shop table. Whitewashing is super easy to do. No stain is required. It's very cost effective. And you're gonna be shocked at the before and after of this table. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun part. So here's the curb shop pedestal dining table I started with. It was structurally sound, but the finish on the tabletop had seen better days. And I was also dealing with some mildew and mold issues on the underside. This table had a made in Malaysia stamp, so I'm guessing it's rubber wood, as this is the most common wood species used for furniture manufactured in Malaysia. So to get a good paint wash finish, I needed to start with a really good cleaning. And here's a quick tip when you're working with furniture that has mold or mildew. Uh, when I see mold on wood, I always know extra attention is needed to get that all removed. I always wear a mask, gloves, protective eyewear, etc. So always remember safety first. And I remove the mold and mildew by cleaning this piece with a TSP substitute, white lightning. You can also use water and dish detergent like Dawn. I've done that before. Or add vinegar to a spray bottle with some water or some bleach to a spray bottle and uh, spray that on as well. They also sell mold removers on Amazon if you're not into mixing your own. And a tip when cleaning mold is to use a brush just to get right into that wood and just take off everything. Uh, I mean, a sponge works great, a cloth will work great, but if you also have a brush to really give it a good scrubbing, I would highly suggest that um, because this is where mold spores can be hanging out. You want to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies, the backs, the, the creases. <laughs> you just want to make sure you kill it all. I'll also share another tip later in this video to make sure that it does not grow back. So just stay with me. So once the table was all clean, 100% dry, I started to remove the old finish. And I bought this carbide scraper off Amazon to see what all the hype was about. And I love it. It took me about a half an hour to scrape off the majority of this dated finish. Uh, no smelly chemicals were required. And if any of you have this tool, I'd be curious to hear how often you change the blade. While I was using it for this table, uh, the blade stayed super sharp the whole time, but I'm guessing after a couple of furniture makeovers, probably the blade will need to be switched out. But I'm really impressed with how easy it was to use and how it easy it was just to scrape off this old finish. It worked fabulous. Once I had about 90% of the finish scraped off using the carbide scraper, I used my orbital sander to finish everything off. So I started with an 80 grit, then I swapped to a 150 grit, and finally to a 220 grit for a super smooth finish. I removed all the dust with my tack cloth and I was ready for the whitewash. So now for the fun part. Whitewashing wood is super easy and costs much less than buying stain. Uh, you can use any type of white paint, uh, latex, mineral paint, acrylics, 
chalk paint, craft paint, whatever white paint you have on hand. Uh, I would stay away from high gloss, but other than that, anything goes. So leftover paint is great for this because so little is needed. So I suggest for a wash, mixing a one-to-one -one ratio of water and paint. And this means you would use 50% paint into 50% water. So uh, this is a great place to start. Then you can test this in an inconspicuous area of your wood to see how you like the look. If it's too opaque or dark for you, Add a little more water to dilute the wash. If it's too translucent or light for you, add more paint to thicken it up. And adjust the water to paint ratio to whatever you like, because this is really a personal preference. You may want the grain to show through a lot, or possibly you want it to be a little more of a heavy wash and have the grain covered a little bit more. So it is an individual preference and just do whatever you like. There's no right or wrong. The same goes for color. I would suggest picking a color of white paint that you like. I prefer using an off-white uh, to give my whitewash wood a more natural sort of boho look. So I made my paint wash using a quarter cup of drop cloth paint, which again is an off-white, and a quarter cup of room temperature water. And again, that doesn't sound like much, but very, very little is needed. I mix the paint and water together 100%. And then to apply the paint wash, I used a two inch synthetic brush. I dipped the brush into the wash and painted the table in sections, applying the wash in the same direction as the grain. I worked in smaller sections because it's important to keep the paint wet for this technique. So while the paint wash was still wet, I took my shop towel to wipe off the excess. And as you can see, it really cuts down on the orange wood tone while leaving a gorgeous light wood grain finish. Also, someone on the SI blog asked if this will work with any paint color. Yes, I did a beautiful side table in a black wash that turned out fabulous. And whatever color you want to use, give it a whirl. I mean, you can use whatever color you want watered down with water and applied as a wash. So get adventurous and try different things out. Now earlier I mentioned uh, something I did to make sure that the mold and mildew does not grow back and that was to use boss primer on the back of this table and this will ensure that nothing grows back and it smells fresh and clean. I painted one coat of anchor black to match the pedestal the pedestal base, which I also painted in anchor black. Um, so I'm getting pretty good at pouring the primer and the paint. Uh, and this is just a quick way. When I'm rolling, I'll just pour the appropriate amount of paint and I just roll it on super quick. It's super easy. Uh, to give this table a more modern look, I wanted a high contrast, so I restyled the pedestal base using this Anchor Black Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint, and I took the same prepping steps. I cleaned it with white lightning. I primed it with slick stick bonding primer so I would not have to sand this pedestal. Um, it just makes things so much easier. And then I did a scratch test to make sure it was 100% adhered, a light sanding before I applied the paint and removed the dust with a tack cloth. And then I painted two coats of anchor, which is a gorgeous black. I did not need to top coat the pedestal base because the primer and top coat is already included. 
To protect the finish on the tabletop, I used my favorite top coat, Gator Hide. I used this on my dining room table over two years ago, and it still looks amazing and is holding up beautifully. It's super, super durable. It's easy to clean, and it's not only water resistant, like most top coats, but it's actually water repellent. So when I spill something on my kitchen table, no worries. It's so easy peasy to clean up. Um, so I sprayed three coats of Gator Hide on it. And here's another quick tip for when you're spraying. I added a very small amount of the leftover wash into my top coat. I would say it was definitely no more than 10%. You don't want to water down your top coat too much. So let's say 10% of the wash to about 90% of the Gator Hide. I mix that really well and then I sprayed three coats sanding very lightly between the first and the second coat. No need to sand the last coat when you're applying a top coat. Um, also, if you ever top coated a wash and notice it started to turn slightly orange again, uh, this trick will keep it looking very, very white, uh, very clean. So I hope this tip helps you out as well. So let's take a look at the before, this curb shop table before. And let's take a peek at the after. I just love the way this turned out. It really does look like a brand new set. And I can't wait to hear what you think. So thanks so much again for joining me today. I hope this has inspired you to try a whitewashed wood technique. Again, it's so easy, cost effective, and it's a simple way to update your furniture. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'd also love it if you subscribed over at salvagedinspirations.com for over 500 furniture painting tutorials. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate all the support and I hope you have a fabulous week. I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye.